Let's talk about playing Spotify on FreeBSD native browser. In the last video, I have mentioned that after I have upgraded my FreeBSD machine from 13.1 to 14, I couldn't actually play Spotify or any DRM content using the Linux browser installer that I have showcased to you in one of my videos. Basically, Linux browser installer takes advantages of FreeBSD Linux uh, compatibility layer service and installs Linux browser on your FreeBSD. And when we are talking about it, most of the people, they think that it is some sort of emulator and hence the speed is slow, but that's not correct. The speed is identical to a native browser and it's a very useful tool to actually run multiple Linux browser in your FreeBSD hustle-free. However, the issue is that it's not working anymore on FreeBSD 14, or at least I couldn't get it work with a Spotify. So whenever I open a Spotify, I get this error. And this is the Brave browser, Linux Brave browser running on FreeBSD. So nonetheless, I get this error, or if the page loads completely, I cannot play any songs. And just to prove you here, I am actually running FreeBSD 14. And whereas here I have my Chromium, this is the FreeBSD built Chromium. It's not using a Linux compatibility layer. And I can actually play songs here easily. I'm not going to play the song because of the copyright reasons, but that is possible. This is the native browser for, open, for FreeBSD. But there's a catch to it, which I am going to address it shortly. So how, I, how did I have achieved that? So thanks to this tutorial, watching Spotify and listening to Netflix, which is a very interesting title. There's a short guideline that gist of it is as follows. Basically, the Chromium has actually patched to enable white one supports on FreeBSD and there is a package called foreign CDM which is proxying to the content decryption API module and this one also is available on FreeBSD and that basically interfaces with the Linux white wine running on the Linux compatibility layer and they communicate with each other through a Unix sock sockets. And as a result of it, you can actually play DRM content on the FreeBSD native browser. But the DRM part or the Widevine binary runs on the Linux compatibility layer. So the instruction is very simple and straightforward. So first of all, install Chromium. I think that's a super simple and straightforward. Then you have to install the foreign CDM, which interfaces with the content decryption module. So just try to install it. I have already installed it. The next thing is to enable the Linux uh, compatibility layer. So for that one, just run the sysrc Linux enable, yes. So you can check it actually, go to the rc.conf and then you should have a flag Linux enable. Keep in mind that if you use this Linux browser installer, it disables the Linux enable flag and actually enables Ubuntu enable. So this is what the script does. At this point of time, I am not sure whether having both Linux enable and Ubuntu enable is a good thing and whether there would be some sort of issues rising from that. I am not aware at least as of now, but that might be something that I discover later on. But so far so good. In my experience, I could actually just running everything normally meaning Brave Browser and also 
the DRM engine or white wine a DRM on the Linux compatibility layer, Sublime, etc. And everything works smoothly without any problem. The next step is to start the Linux service. That's also simple copy paste here. Once you, ins once you actually start it, the most difficult part is to clone and build the Linux Widevine CDM because this one is not available through the package manager. So what you have to do, you have to clone the FreeBSD ports. I have already done it because it takes actually quite a bit of time. So let me show you. So you go here and then you go to the www and then go to the Linux Widevine CDM just run make and then after that sudo make install then you should actually install it for you of course you get more output if you run it for first time but since i have already done that it doesn't output anything for me once you have done everything just close your uh, browser and then open it again you can actually test it by going to this site and the, and another one to play some DRM content and you should actually be able to play it. So let me quickly actually save this URL and then I'm going to open my Chromium. So I'm going to close this one and let me open my Chromium. And then we are going to actually test this. So if I open this, we go to the first one, and we go to the second one. So here it should says that using white wine. So here you see it shows that this is the then the white wine is enabled. And in the second link, if you try to play the video, you should play the video with content and without any issue if it's not if the drm is not enabled what happens usually is that you don't get any sound you don't get anything moving but you get just this pure subtitle if you have encountered such a thing that means that actually the drm is not enabled on your browser there's a caveat to this solution and unfortunately the caveat is i have closed already the browser let me open it again let's open right brave here the caveat is that you cannot apply the same approach on firefox because the firefox build is not patched to enable white wine support that's the caveat here and it's a bad news for the firefox lovers including myself i use firefox as my main browser and I cannot play DRM content on it so far but I guess just using something like Chromium for some occasional use playing Spotify or watching some contents that are DRM protected should be fine but nonetheless if you are using Firefox or even if you haven't used Firefox I highly recommend to switch to Firefox is a better browser by any means. That's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I want to thank all of the amazing Patreon and coffee supporters. Your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.